Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Jeremy from Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're going to show you how to get the special mounts Shadow Runner, Hexmark, Red Hair, and the War Elephant for Dynasty Warriors 8. This is a long journey, so here we go. You need to be in ambition mode. Every time you do 30 battles, you're going to unlock a special mount. I, the Shadow Runner, then Hexmark, then Red Hair. But you need to do 100 consecutive battles to get the War Elephant. So I highly recommend grabbing a, a pretty high-leveled character, you know, something like in the 70s. He'll be 99 by the time it's all said and done. And, uh... Putting it on easy because if you put it on chaos and you get to end of 100 battles and you're pretty good, and it sucks to do all that work and uh, lose it. Also, another thing is uh, save often because I had it the freeze one time and I was 23 battles into it and that is a controller throwing moment. Unhappy thumbs gaming, if you know what I'm saying. Um, also, when you're selecting your missions, I always went for the material ones because they're the shortest. It's literally like a quarter of the map. You can run right to the guy, slam, and then uh, proceed along with your day. So it was pretty easy. So this is the 30th battle here in ambition mode. As soon as I win it, I'm going to unlock the uh, shadow hair horse. Correction, shadow runner. And uh, the one that Sao Sao has. So, oh yeah. So I get off, punch this dude in the face a little bit. And uh, the, the next ones we're going to fast forward. That way you can, you know, you get the gist by now. So just ambition mode, just keep plugging along. Keep saving often. At 30, 60, and 90, you're going to get the unlocks. And at 100, you'll also get the uh, war elephant. And if you were like, is that a freaking panda? Yeah, it is, dude. He is not out there offering Panda Express. He's out there smashing on some faces, so not the cute, cuddly thing that uh, we've made him out to be. They're pretty angry, actually. But it's a good uh, little character to have with you because he gives you health, so touche. At least the one I have does. He gives me health in the form of orange chicken and egg rolls. Oh, yeah. So at the end of the victory, you're just going to get like a, usually a weapon and then the mount. Boom. And it's going to show up here in a second. But yeah, like I said, it's going to take like three, four hours to do 100 battles. So just be, uh, be ready for the long haul. But you can save, so you don't have to do them all in one sitting. And um, here's another thing. Um, during this, you're more likely to get the trophy for getting 100 consecutive uh, wins with the same guy. Uh, you're probably going to unlock all of the little symbols you can put in your camp. And once you unlock all the symbols, you're going to uh, I'll stop doing duels, which is going to make this a lot faster. I'm just showing you just how quick it is to save, by the way. Like, just do that, because if it freezes and you're 50 battles in, like I said, it's going to be unhappy thumbs gaming. And there's uh, the shadow runner, by the way. He just is really annoying. Almost as annoying as the hawk. If you guys have gotten the hawk yet, he just like runs around. He's like... <laughs> And he does like sonic booms to the level. I had to get rid of him because he was just driving me nuts. I'll let the panda do all the work. Oh, if you upgrade the uh, merchant, you can eventually get a bear you can ride on. It's kind of funny. You're like, oh, give me your picnic bag, snit. And your face. Slice. And rip it up. Oh, yeah. I'm just running around like, smell my finger. Smell my finger. I'm cow pee. Come on. Smell my finger. <laughs> but uh, that was the 60th battle. And you'll see here. Boom. I got the uh, hex mark. Here's another thing that's kind of annoying about uh, doing 100 consecutive battles. If it's early on in ambition mode, you're literally going to lose a a lot of um, like reputation or whatever it is, fame, and b you're gonna make a lot of allies that aren't gonna stick with you. So, kind of a crappy deal. But you know, sometimes you just gotta go big for the war elephant. So here we are, smashing on the hex mark. So it supposedly says in the description it's unlucky, but you know, it's doing fine for me. Like I said, you can see I just smash into the end and doing my thing. The uh, war elephant is eh, so-so in my opinion, but the red hair is on point. It literally just blasts through everybody. And two, it looks demonic, so can't go wrong with that. Small finger. <laughs> Victory! Alright, here it is. Infamous red hair. And this is actually one of the easiest ways it's ever been to get it, so I guess you can't complain about that. And then 10 more battles, and you're going to unlock the war elephant. And after this, you can just really focus on uh, building up your thing that starts with a T and kind of sounds like tongue twister. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. No. But here we are, battle 100 of ambition mode. As you can see, the red hair is boss. Yeah. Oh, a thousand blade attack! Alright, alright, I'll show you what's up. 
And you're done, son. I had this halberd for uh, like Lubu that literally like makes me charge up my Mushu real quick, so that thing is money, and it makes me go into like instant double attack mode. Good stuff. But right here is gonna be the War Elephant, and that's pretty much all the special mounts that you unlock through continuous play in Ambition mode. Long journey, but uh, if you that's what you want, then you can get them. So thank you guys for choosing Happy Thumbs Gaming. Don't forget to subscribe and like if this video helped you out at all. Don't forget to check us out on our other channels. Uh, you know, just all that good stuff. Also, send some love to SOF Studios, and if you're having a Probable finding us on YouTube, just put HTG at the end of your search and we will always come up to the top. You know, the thumb just rising above. Booyak Happy hunting gamers.